Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where we are going to play with some new things from Alien Cosmetics. I have them here in front of me. I have three new palettes. It is two eyeshadow palettes and a face palette and we are just going to play with them and see what I think of them. I'm going to do some swatches as well and just show you what they look like. These are three of the newer releases from Alien Cosmetics and I'm just so, so excited to be playing with them because you know how much I've been enjoying this brand. So this this is a fun day for me, and if you haven't been here before, hello, my name is Angie, I am a lover of fashion and makeup, especially colorful things, and we are gonna dive into some brides today. They're... <laughs> Just you wait and see. Just you wait and see. Today's gonna be a fun day, and if you wanna see some more color on your timeline, if you wanna see some brands that you might not hear about on every other channel, please do subscribe because I upload five videos a week. So we are gonna dive into these palettes here. I have three of them. These are some of the newer releases from Alien Cosmetics. I will leave a link and some info in the description box. I did receive these as PR and I do have a code with Alien Cosmetics. It is Angeshka and you will save some money off when you're shopping at Alien Cosmetics. The code is affiliated, meaning that I do earn a small commission if you use it. And if you do, thank you so much. I think it is 10% off, correct me if I'm wrong. I'll put the info in the description box. And I will of course link everything down below. This video is not sponsored though, so there's no strings attached, but I just had so much fun with the two palettes that I had before. I have used the Fairy Frolic palette and I've used the Serendipity palette and they've just been... They've just been so good. So I was so excited to be receiving some more palettes in the mail. The first palette I'm going to show you is the Lore palette. This is just a beautiful palette. It has the Medusa on the front and then on the inside you have a 9 pen palette and this has 5 duochromes and 4 mattes. Such a cool and pretty palette and I think we will be using some of the At least one of the shimmers from this palette because the other one is an all matte palette This palette comes with a mirror. I'm pretty sure it is $30 and you can get some money off I'm not 100% mistaken, but yeah again I will leave the info down in the description box. It's just so pretty the next palette I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show it to you a little bit like this This is the Capricorn palette and this is a collab palette between the influencer Capricorn and Alien Cosmetics. The reason why I'm showing it a bit like this is because the girl on the front is wearing a bikini. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm not a prude. I think this picture is beautiful. And from what I've understood, the creator of this palette, like the influencer that I did this palette with, actually did this illustration and it is absolutely incredible. I'm not a prude, but YouTube is. And YouTube has to monetize one of my videos once for showing a promo picture of the Kardashians when they were wearing a bikini. So. I think it's beautiful. I'm not a prude, but YouTube is. YouTube is, so that's why I'm showing it like this. If you want to see the picture, like I said, it will be in the link down below. It is a beautiful picture, so this is not me censoring anything, but I don't want to be demonetized for something as stupid as a bikini picture. So listen, you never know with YouTube. The inside is in incredible this is one of the brightest and funnest like oh my this is like a rainbow palette with a little bit of a twist because there are different undertones in these shadows and i am excited to be trying it out and i love that there are three blues in here i love blues i feel like i want to do something blue today and the greens look incredible as well so maybe we'll do something blue and green the influencer named these shadows based on some references and some things that she loves i know she loves cosplay and i know this, that one of the references is this one here the pink one is called nerf this if you play overwatch if you know you know i'm personally not very good at overwatch but my friend plays a lot and she's really good at that character i'm i'm not but we are definitely doing something with the rainbow palette and the lore palette i want to use them together and do something fun and then we have the last palette this is the low light palette and i audibly gasped when i opened this palette this is the the front is beautiful is this girl with like one double eye oh, it's such a pretty palette and this is a highlighter palette with colorful highlighters that are meant to look non-ashy even on a deeper skin tone and I think that is amazing like these look so incredible these look so incredible imprints are beautiful like a moon an alien a spaceship a planet and then the uh, alien cosmetics AC they just look they just look incredible I cannot wait to put this on my face they are like dual chrome, like I think I want to use this one. It seems to be a purple to a green and I'm like, yes, yes, yes. I want to, I want to, ooh, ooh, I want to use all of this. It looks in 
incredible. I also have a liquid lipstick here. I want to put this one on. Let me put this one on and then I'll zoom in. This is a matte, matte liquid lipstick in pumpkin. It's an orange. The owner of Alien Cosmetics, she's like, I included a liquid lipstick in orange because I, I heard you love orange. I do love orange. Mm. Oh yeah, this is the Alien Cosmetics uh, uh, lip products that smell a bit like um, Play-Doh in a good way. Because I love that sweet scent. But just so you know. I'm going to put this one on, I'll zoom in. And we can just start. I'm excited. I have to start with highlighter. I can't wait anymore. I can't wait anymore. I don't know which one I want to do. Let me... I'm touching! I'm touching! Ooh, That is the one that's here. That's the one I feel like I want to use. Oh my god, this is a pink to gold duochrome. This is like a... This is like a bright gold to pink. This is more like a pale gold to pink. And this is like a purple to green. Can I try green? Well, I get away with that. I don't know. Who cares? We're trying. Where am I going? Listen, where am I going? I'm not going anywhere. Where am I putting this? I think I'm gonna take a flimsy brush. Am I in focus? Wait. I'm gonna take a flimsy brush. This is the Navla Highlighter brush. I'm taking the extraterrestrial, which is the lightest of the green, and I'm just gonna sweep this. And I'm taking very little because I want to make sure. I was gonna say that I'm not going overboard, but maybe there's no like. That is. That is what Teresa would say an alien slut. Wow. Okay, I don't see it myself here when I'm turning away from the light and I feel like that's good, but that's fun. I think I'm gonna put some of that pink like on here and I could probably make this be even more intense if I use the denser brush, but I kind of don't want to because I don't want it to be like a green stripe. I'm taking this one, the one that is a bit more brighter pink on my apples, and then I'm taking this one, the alien one here in the corner that is called Synthwave. I'm taking Synthwave, which is the lighter one, and I'm just gonna put a little bit here. This is the more light gold to light pink. And I'm just taking that on the high points of my face, and then I'm taking Comet, which is the more bright pink. And I'm just gonna layer that on my apples. That is a beautiful pink highlighter. So pretty. These have a bit of a creamy texture. Like they feel a little bit like more dense. But I am very glowy. <laughs> very glowy. I'm going over with just a bit of a powder brush. I'm just you see that pink going to green now? That's pretty. Just soft... Softening. What is going on? <laughs> softening the edges with my powder brush with no like additional product. But that is... Wow. Wow, I love that. Okay, I'm gonna do some eye primer. I always link everything that I'm using and that's on my face. Even the things that I already had on. When I started filming, I always link them down in the description box. Don't forget to check the description box for more info, like the discount code and links and what I'm wearing and like all of those things. I always have, like my description box always has a lot of info. So I'm gonna do some eye primer and then let's dig into uh, the colorful mattes. I'm gonna start with this one that's called Kaneki, which is like a deep, deep blue. And I'm gonna start off with that one because when I want something to be as deep as possible, I want it to be the color during the pan. I usually start out with that color. And you know how I love a smoky and dramatic look? Wow, that is so pretty. Okay. Such a pretty shade. I'm using a Refer 13, which is pretty much my favorite eye brush of all time. I have so many and when I have used like when all of them are dirty 
that's when I know it's time to clean my brushes because oh, I just love them. I don't want the dark blue to be bigger than this, I think. And I don't think I'm gonna carry it inwards. I think I'm gonna do it like this. And I'm gonna blend it out with another blue. I'm trying to like look in different angles. I feel like a little a little bird just bopping its head. I'm gonna use the, the brighter blue after what's called Soldier First Class. And I can see some like... It's like some sparkles in it, but it's like a matte with some sparkle. That's sometimes how it is with mattes, that there are some sparkles in it to help with the blending. So we're gonna see how it looks on the eye, but I'm not doing an all matte look. So I'm not that concerned. If I was doing an all matte look, I wouldn't want any sparkles, but I don't do all matte looks that often, so it doesn't really concern me. I'm just using a smaller brush. This is a N301 from Nabla. It's from the Amethyst set. And I'm taking that Soldier First Class and I'm just gonna run. I'm not taking too much, but I'm just gonna such a pretty bright blue. I'm just gonna run some bit further in here and on the edge. And I do have an even, an even lighter blue that's called Miko here. So I think I'm gonna use that one last to just really blend out the edges. But I think I'm taking this a little bit farther in as well. The brighter blue. Ooh, that's such a nice bright blue. You know how... If you didn't know, I love all eyeshadows. I love all colors. I can even get on board with a brown. Listen, I can get on board with a brown. But blue, blue eyeshadow is my true love. Nothing beats a good blue eyeshadow. Blue smoky eye will forever be my comfort zone when it comes to eyeshadows. I just love it so much. That looks incredible. And with this like orangey red lip, I just I love dramatic makeup. I know it's not for everyone, but doesn't this just make you happy? I'm just gonna gently, without any additional product, just with small circular motions, go over this edge and blend this out and soften this up. And then I would use even more of the lightest blue to soften it up even more. But wow, look at that. Look at that. Okay, I've cleaned that brush that I used, the same brush, and I'm gonna use the lighter one now. And I'm just taking a little bit, I'm like, doop doop, dipping in, and I'm just gonna gently run that on the edge here. Just to make this a little bit smoother, so there's a little bit of the light blue here at the end. And I'm taking that one a down a bit here as well, towards the inner part. But look at that. Look at those blues. Oh my. And since I started with the dark blue, you can see I really have that color true here. Otherwise, you keep diluting. If you layer colors on top of each other, that can be a perfect blend. But if you want the color to be true and bright like it is in the pan, the best way to achieve that is through just like putting it on as it is. Because then you're gonna have just that color. I love this lighter blue here. Like it's almost like a lighter turquoisey one. And I can't really see any of the sparkles now on my eyes at all actually. So maybe it was just to to help with the blend. I'm just putting a little bit more of the dark blue here just to help with the blend. It's always nice to go back with some of the colors afterwards just to put them back and to help with the blend. But yeah, I think that this is going to be the crease basically. Look at this. Look at this. I did put some of the blue on my lid as well, just to show you how you could do a look with just this palette and not having to bring in a shimmer. I am going to bring in a shimmer though, but look at this. Look at this. I will say, when I get really, really close, I can't see some of the little mini, mini sparkles, but at this range, I can't see anything. On the other hand, blind as bad, so who knows. I'm going to put the two greens, the, this one here, and the one here, I'm gonna put those under my eyes because I wanna use, actually, actually I am gonna use a green, like that turquoise green on my lid. 
I have powdered under my eyes so it might make the colors look a little less bright although I will say that is very intense oh that lighter green is beautiful look at that wow that is that is so pretty what I want to do is I want to use this basilisk is that the, is that the correct word I hope so I Sorry, sorry, sorry if I'm if I'm mispronouncing, but I want to use that on my lid. Uh, I already have a shadow on, so I am gonna spray this to make sure that it's really like showing up. So I'm just putting this on top of where I already put. I just wanted to see how this would look with like just the mattes. But since this is like a slightly bluish green, I thought that this would be a nice like bridge between the two look at that oh, that is so pretty i'm just tapping over a bit to make it a bit more seamless and i'm gonna use a little bit of the dark blue just out here to like make the mix but that is so cool i love this like greenish blue it literally ties this together i am i'm gonna finish this up I'm gonna finish this up and we'll do the inner corners. Should we use should we use this for the inner corners? Because it is a green purple duochrome. Maybe. Okay, I haven't put lashes on yet. I have them here with some glue on. I am gonna use the lashes that I love from Rocael Beauty. They're called the Auroras. They're so beautiful. I love this look though. I am gonna use Serpent and I am gonna spray it and let's put that in my inner corners and let's just see how that looks. Oh, it's so mesmerizing on the brush. But let's spray it and let's see how it looks here. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna layer it a bit on the green here and a bit on the blue. That is a stunning shade and this layered on the green was absolutely immaculate. Like this would be so pretty with the green smoky eye and then just this over. Mm, so pretty. I don't see any purple in this direct light but I see the purple um, in the pan. So I'm sure that if I get in like different lightings I'll be able to see some of the purple shifts as well. So... Yeah, I'm gonna put the falsies on and let my hair down and we can just chat about this glorious look. <laughs> okay, so this is the finished look. I... Look at this eye look. Look at... Look at me. Look at this eye look. It is so fun. Uh, these are the same kind of eyeshadow quality that I've tried from Alien Cosmetics before. I really like their mattes. I really like their shimmers. Their duochromes are beautiful. Everything is just so pretty and yeah, I just think that these are really nice eyeshadows. I'm so excited that I tried this brand because I feel like I found a new, a new like indie brand to love. So yeah, check out the description box for some more info. The liquid lipstick is I think my least favorite because this one does dry down completely. Like this is dry and I prefer a liquid lipstick that just I don't know I don't know maybe I'm over these liquid lipsticks that are 100% dry down some of them feel a li little bit more hydrating though this one is one of those that is like totally transfer proof and if you love that because I know a lot of you out there love that maybe this could be for you it was totally opaque and it's not feeling drying or like something like that on the lips. I just prefer something that's a little bit more, I don't know, especially now coming into summer months. I probably will top this with a gloss when I'm filming my next video because I'm going to film one more video. But I hope you like the video that I had here. I hope you like the look. I hope you like the swatches. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to subscribe because I will see you tomorrow with a new video.